Not sure how well this is gonna work, but it's gonna using a shoelace to tie my camera to the front. But I'll give you a little view of uh, driving the FUV in winter and talk about uh, what it's been like so far. Uh, turn here. Um, the coldest I've ridden it in so far is 11 degrees Fahrenheit. But that was, the car coming this way, that was uh, unplugging from my garage and just going so that charging system had kept it warm. There have been issues when it's parked outside at work. You can hear. No, actually it's not too bad. Uh, there's usually a really loud noise that comes from the right motor. It's a little warmer today and it was sitting in the sun, so it's not too bad. But I did have one issue that was very concerning. Uh, the other day there was a high temperature of 22 and it was overcast, so it was very cold and got cold soaked while while parking in the parking lot uh, during my work shift and when I turned it on I had a motor fault error it's a, you know, drive power reduced exit roadway uh, and uh, I tried resetting the 12 volt system and it was no good uh, but I still it, it could still drive I'm not sure how much the power was reduced well, I just took it easy went to the back roads and when I got home and turned it off, turned it back on, it was fine. So I think it was just so cold that the, there was a, a sensor in the motor that was beyond its operational uh, abilities and caused it to cause the system to say there was a failure. So I mean, here's where something gets a little fun. You got the snow in the middle, so the rear wheel is going to be on the snow, and you might slide around a bit. Woo! It's fun though. Not do any regen braking. So here we go on the snow. A little bit of, a little bit of uh, understeer there. And we're just kind of sliding around a bit. Uh, actually, it, this is a smoother than I thought it would be. I thought there would be a lot of tracks. Uh, before my my own neighborhood street got plowed, I got this, this, this tracks, and I, I was like almost at a 45 degree angle sometimes. And I, Again, I, I do not have snow tires on it now, so these tires pretty much become packed with snow and just one big bald uh, tire. So it looks like they did actually plow this street. So it snowed again today, so it's, a little, it's covered up with snow. But uh, so so far it's been it's been okay. I'm just a little worrying about that cold weather, uh, you know, getting that motor fault error and the drive power reduced. But I think what I'll do next time that happens is just tool around the parking lot for a bit, have the the motors warm up the system, uh, warm up a bit, and then just and then just turn it off and turn it back on. Uh, that seems to be the, the main issue. Is just it just got too cold. The, the FUV does not have battery heating, 
The only way it heats up is either being plugged in or by operation. Now this area is in, in shadow, so it's going to be pretty, pretty dicey in the snow. Look, another little bit of oversteer, wheel spin there, kind of going straight when we're trying to turn. But uh, yeah, not too bad. So uh, that's uh, what it's been like driving the FUV in the, in the snow so far, uh, in the cold weather. So far, so good. I uh, just during this drive, we went over the 500 miles mark, so I've now driven this for 500 miles, getting there. Uh, the guy I mentioned before in Oregon, who rides the snow, has hit 10,000 miles recently. So, uh, so far, so good. So, uh, have a good one, guys.